Hi YouTube and welcome to Beauty in the Empty Nest. I am going to review a brand new palette that I finally caved in and got. I've been on the fence about it and if you watch me on Twitter or follow me, not watch me, follow me on Twitter or any other social medias, I've been debating this back and forth. I took the plunge. Da da! Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I love it. <laughs> Not to jump ahead to giving you my feedback, but I love this. So let me show you, and again, I'm sure that you probably have all seen all these different colors, but it's all matte, which is what is so perfect for me because I need the matte shades as opposed to the shimmeries. I can use shimmery, and I will mix it in, but I have to be really careful because I have these hooded deep set eyes, which don't always play well with shimmery shadows. So this is all matte, and I was on the fence about this because if you've watched any of my other reviews, you know I already have the Too Faced Natural Matte. And I love this palette. So here are the colors from this one. And here are the colors from this. So I was afraid that there would be too much overlap between these two and that this Kat Von D one would just be excess that I didn't really need. Well, do I need it? That I didn't really want me, you know, <laughs> I guess I didn't need it. <laughs> but I was afraid that there would be too much crossover between these two and I love, and I'll try to remember to link below my review of this natural matte palette. <laughs> I have my dogs in the background playing. So if you can occasionally see a paw <laughs> or you'll see a nose, that's them. <laughs> they want to join in with us. So but anyway, so I was afraid that there was going to be too much overlap. And maybe there is. I mean, there definitely are. I mean, so again, here are, I'm trying to get a good coloring here. There we go. There definitely are some very similar colors between these two. However, they play very differently. So again, not saying I don't still love this palette, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I mean, these colors, and I was warned when I was, of course, I also was eyeing the Tart, Tartlet Matte Palette, and when I went to Sephora, I did one of those finally uh -huh. other, excuse me, <laughs> I did one of those final double checks again, looking at them, playing with all of them, and I talked to one of the sales associates, and her word, of, her word between the two, and I did see this then when I went back to look at, the Tartlet has softer colors. So if you like a deeper shade, you're going to have to apply a little bit more. However, if you're heavy-handed, it might be good because it won't get too deep and muddy. As opposed to these, these have very strong, high levels of pigmentation. They're excited about it, too. This is Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> she's one of our rescue dogs. Oh, she's liking this. <laughs> these colors would be perfect for her, too. But anyway, um, if these have a very high level of pigmentation, so you do have to know that when you're applying it. They have quite a bit of fallout, too. So again, be warned about that. However, the colors blend so wonderfully. So if you know as you dip into this not to dip too deeply or to know that you're going to have to blend quite a bit, it, it works wonderfully. So these colors are fabulous. And what they that comes with a little... Um, descriptor card, which I found really useful. Plus, I love, I mean, again, you've probably already watched a lot of these reviews. They have this on the back. It's got a wonderful mirror, which I won't show you because you'll just see my backdrop, <laughs> which is a window. And it's kind of overcast today, of course. But I wanted to get this review up right away. But it does have a nice dual language um, descriptor of the colors, and it tells you some different ways that you can apply it if you want like a little card index tutorial, which again, I always like to look at those, right? Um, but again, they divide it into a neutral quad, a cool quad, and then the last one is a warm quad. So that relates. This is neutral, this is the cool quad, and this right here is the warm quad. Okay. Now I am not partial to warm versus cool versus, I don't even know what ones work best on me, but I go for colors and what I actually like. So there's a couple things about this. I like the variety of the different colors. I also like that they are put into these quads because sometimes I don't 
have a great eye for what goes together. However, I think these all mesh so nicely. So similar to the Matte Too Faced, which is kind of already put together nicely in little quads, same thing here. However, these colors are buttery and again, you know, Fallout are buttery and blend so well. And yes, they are intense. So you do have to be careful how you apply it and using some really nice blushes. So I'm going to do swatches. I'll also put on the side here so that you can see them. I'll try and attempt to do a little ones right now. So let's look at the neutral quad. Here is the base color and then the other three colors. See, you saw how lightly I pressed those, right? And you see those colors come out. So let's see how well they apply on my hand here. And again, I'll do better swatches too because these never show up as nicely. Look at that. Again, that was one swipe going through. So you can get the idea of how beautiful these are. I just, I mean, I was so impressed with them. I really, 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 really like them. So again, I will do another little swatch. Let me just get my little lenses out. A little diaper wipes <laughs> out so I can clean myself off so it won't be too much there. Now I'm going to do the cool quad and I will go ahead on my other hand while this hand, so this I have to work with my wrong arm here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get, here's the base for that one, here. I'm not going to do the black because, well, I'll do the black for you. So those are those two, okay. And I'm going to also, I missed this finger here. This one is now the highlight color. So they nicely point out which are which. Again, not that you're ever tied to anything with makeup, right? And let's do some of these swatches. I have a dog pushing on my back with her paws. And again, I'm never impressed with how these kind of swatches show up while I'm filming, at least in my current camera setup, which hopefully I will be improving shortly. So, But again, you can see how nicely they come across. Okay, and I'll do the last, the warm quad. For in the for what it's worth category. So the warm has a base, the contour, and the define just like the other ones. And let's see. Okay. This one's this one's the base. This one is the contour, defined, and the highlight. Again, you saw how quick I mean, I just did a quick little swatch, and here's just a quick little rub. Swatching them across here. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And what I really liked was, is that you can really mix them nicely as well too. So I am wearing, today I did the cool quad, so that's the quad right in the middle. And kind of the normal ways you would apply these. And then I also added a little bit of this as kind of like a transition color over top. So I will insert either alongside or at the end, um, a demo of me applying it just so you can see how they blend so nicely. Not that you need to see <laughs> not that you need to see how to apply eyeshadows. But I think what's nice is you can see how well they go on and just one little touch and then how it blends off. Um, how it blends so nicely and smoothly as you're applying it. So again, huge thumbs up. I am so glad I did take the plunge. And I do not think it's going to replace this one. They both have their merits. And I can see me both reach, still reaching for both of these. So overall quick, let's do a quick rating. Overall fondness, I'm giving it a huge five. I love it. Okay. <laughs> as far as working for a mature skin, again, considering around the eyes, um, there is a little bit of fallout, but if you know that ahead of time, you work the right way. So you don't have to worry about, and I did not have any big issues with it dripping down into this area here, which already has enough lines coming out on their own. It does not need any extra emphasis, <laughs> but again, for mature skin with eyelet, I give it a five. They blend so nicely. They do not cling. They do just really, 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 really wonderful. And then as far as run out to get, I wish I hadn't sat on the fence for as long as I did. Um, and I do think these two work so well together because you can cross back and forth or play around with them. I would give it a five. I am so glad that I jumped off the fence <laughs> and actually went and purchased it. I can see this having so many different looks and playing with this. Will I travel with this? Probably not <laughs> because I feel like it's a little bit, the length of it's not going to fit as nicely into my case and it's a little pricey. I would be a little nervous about traveling with this and having some get cracked. I would travel with this one. I feel like this is a nice case 
and it's a little bit smaller. However, again, I've been talking about some other travel-worthy type um, palettes and eyeshadows. So, no, I would not travel with this. However, this is going to be probably one of my top favorite eyeshadow palettes. Wow. It's so exciting. Riley had to join in, too. <laughs> of course, now they're sleeping as I wrap this up. So, again, huge thumbs up. I am. If you're on the fence, I would highly recommend that you get it and play with it. That's really the best. And I was all ready to, if I didn't like it, return it. No way am I returning this now. I'm so excited about it. So thank you for all those wonderful reviews that I did watch on YouTube because I think that helped push me that little extra bit. So again, give me a big thumbs up. It always gives me that extra little bit of encouragement. And please subscribe so that whenever I do release these videos, they're there waiting for you. And I also love the fact that we're building this community. And I'm also trying so hard to get to 100 subscribers. Again, I'm just starting out, so I'm trying to build as we're growing. So Again, thank you so much. Have wonderful, positive, productive days. And if you're on the fence, you know what I'm going to say. Goodbye, YouTube. And here goes. Keep watching for a demonstration. The shade and light. It pardoned the hair. I just got out of the shower and it's pinned back. I am going to today use the Cool Quad. So you'll watch me applying that. I already have my foundation and all that stuff on, my eyebrows done. Um, I even have um, MAC Paint Pot and Painterly on my eyes as primer. So I'm starting right in. I am using an e.l.f. concealer brush, which is really a wonderful brush for this. And I am applying the base color, again, from the Cool Quad. But this brush is really great for this, kind of the, the, trying to cover a lot of area and something that you kind of want to fairly heavy application of, but it really does a nice job. Okay, now I'm going to step in and I'm going to start with the fun stuff. This is my Morphe brush, which I love. I have two Morphe brushes. I'm going to dip right into now the contour color to apply to my crease area and slightly above with a little bit of color. I know you're not supposed to blow on it every now and then. I just do that. <laughs> I try to break my habit self out of that habit. I usually keep a little rag on my lap that I tap things onto, but anyway, you caught me. <laughs> so again, look at how that color is just applying and blending out. I know it's a little hard to see when I'm turning sideways there, but that's where my mirror is. But look at that application. Remember, I haven't dipped it in again. It's going on so nicely and blending out so well. Look at that. That's just one color applied on top of the base. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to another Morphe brush, which again, I love these two Morphe brushes. This one now, I'm going to be using the Define color, so much darker. So I'm using a much lighter, um, less dense, very fluffy <laughs> brush, which I try and do when I'm trying to, when I'm applying darker colors, I use a very fluffy, light as air kind of brush and be very careful with it. And then when I'm applying lighter colors that I don't mind as much going where they're going, I can use, a, again, more of a thicker type brush. So again, right in the outer corners, I have to be really careful because I have deep set and hooded eyes. Again, there was some fallout there. I'm just trying to blow that off. Again, I warned you about that. Now I am switching to, I'm borrowing the contour color from the Warm Quad. And I'm using my IT Cosmetics Double Ended um, Eye Brush, which I really, really love. Used to be my favorite until I got those two Morphe ones. And it has stepped down a little bit, but still really wonderful brushes. So again, just on top a little bit more, like almost a transition kind of color. But again, because I have the deep set eyes, you don't see eyeshadow on me. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to be careful to get enough on top that you can see it, but not be too obnoxious. And then make sure also it doesn't like downward turn my eyes. So I have to really keep it in the outer corner, but not going outside too far. So again, you can use tape, you can use index cards, whatever you want to use to help with that. This is a Real Techniques brush. You see it's kind of very small and flat. I'm going to use, dip into that Define color for an under eye. I'm putting that on top of, I had a little bit of liner on top of there. And this just softens it out a little bit on the top as well, too. 
I saw a picture, or actually a video of myself when I had some liquid liner on that I did not top it off and soften it up at all, and it looked really bad. <laughs> so now I try and make sure I'm always softening up any kind of lines that way. Now I'm going to be using another Morphe brush, and again, this is a great one for applying color and distributing color underneath. I'm tapping into the contour color, again staying in the cool quad, just to give it a little bit more of a brownish color and hue under my eyes. You can see the brush shape here a little bit. It's, it's kind of short and squat, but it's rounded, so it's great for this kind of a step. Not so great for like trying to re you know, replace liner, but for just adding that little bit of color that you want to pop out, it's perfect for that. Again, look at how the colors just, I mean, I'm being very careful here. Now I'm going back to that first e.l.f. brush that I used, and I dipped it into the highlight just hitting the inner corners. Then once there's really not much left on it, I kind of just start blending, blending, blending. Again, by that point, there was nothing really left as far as any shadow on there. And now I'm gonna switch to a brush that I have no clue as to what kind of brush it is. It's all worn off, but it's great because it's kind of fluffy and it's a nice shape. I'm dipping it into very, very little bit, but it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, very little, but I find by having a little bit of that on this brush really helps in the blending process. So again, now we get into that long, tedious task of blending. I hope you can see, I mean, the shadows just have applied so well. I really haven't had to work hard with, for them, with them at all. See, look at the shape. It's really happening. <laughs> now I'm gonna start cleaning up the outer edges. That's my Beauty Blender. It has still just a tiny bit of my foundation left on it. It was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which I love. And I use that to clean up the outer corners. Now I'm speeding ahead because you really don't need to see me curling my lashes and applying mascara, but I wanted to leave this part in because I love this mascara and I want you to see, it's a colossal aisle, link it below, what a difference this drugstore waterproof mascara makes in your lashes. You can see I'm not, I mean, this is not like a laborious process of applying mascara, it's just a couple coats, and you'll see it really makes a big difference. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to a finished look with my hair done, a little different now. And then I'm going to switch to the pictures from the day prior when I use the warm quad. So I love this palette. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.